Welcome back. As you just saw, I ran into what everybody has run into with one of these desktop CNT machines. The collet wrenches they send you are absolute garbage. They do okay in a pinch, but you are going to eventually run into this because you can't tighten it tight enough with this to uh, prevent the bit from falling out. Ask me how I know. So I did a little bit of research. And this is what showed up in the mail today. Ah. Yeah. This is what is referred to as a cone wrench. It's a uh, tool for working on bicycle hubs specifically. It's made out of thin steel, designed to get into narrow places, and it's designed not to break like the other one did. I also got a new 22 millimeter crescent because, you know, this is going to eventually break as well. Anyways, I just want to do a quick little uh, video showing about uh, an essential upgrade, I think, for any CNC owner, and that's a new set of collet wrenches that make tool changes that much easier. Um, gives you a little bit more leverage, make sure you got that tight. You don't want to go too tight because you, you can ruin the, the collet inside. But uh, yeah, so here we are. All right, so let's we'll talk a little bit about cone wrenches. Cone wrenches are as I stated before, typically used for working on bicycles. Park tools is sort of the number one name in bicycle maintenance tools, uh, but there are a lot of other alternatives. This one is a no name I got off of Amazon. I'll throw a link down, down in the uh, comments. Um, but uh, I picked this up because, well, you get here tomorrow and, well, today, and uh, I needed a replacement so that I could get to work. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the uh, spindle forward and kind of do a brief little demonstration of how this works and how I change bits and uh, give a couple of uh, quick thoughts on it and be on my merry way. Just a short video today. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get to it. Now, <clears throat> the default position for the machine leaves the collet hanging over the front of the Sepoka, which would cause my bits to fall into the ground and potentially get damaged. So I like to put a little something here to catch the bit as it falls out. There uh, we go. There's the trash. So your cone wrench goes right in there. 
other wrench goes here. And I need to loosen them. So I am going to, and just like that, that's how it catches the bit. Put that, it's a uh, holder. If I can find it. Coming soon. Shop organization video. There we go. I like to keep these in their holders. Keeps them safe. And I'm going to get set up for my next little project here, which is going to require a quarter inch collet. So take the one eighth inch collet out, quarter inch collet in, put the nut back in. Now you never want to use this, this little stop tab here to actually tighten your collet because I, because I have seen uh, evidence online of people breaking that piece. So what I like to do is I like to hold that button in, get it just snugged up, just enough to kind of hold on to the bit. And worry about it moving out. I don't want the bit. There we go. Now, there's our cone wrench. You don't want to go too hard. When you've got this much leverage, it's easy to overdo it, but uh, you don't want to underdo it either. So the rule of thumb here is just the right amount of tension. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that is how you change a bit and a collet. All right, got the uh, collet changed out, new bit in, getting set up for the next project. And uh, yeah, that uh, wrench worked exactly as advertised. If you want to get your own, um, go ahead and click the affiliate link down below. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to support the channel, click that subscribe button, ring the bell. And uh, hopefully I'll have uh, some more content out here the next coming weeks. Just kind of getting ramped up and working on my workflow. Figured I'd do a little short little tool review. Thanks for watching.